we predicted who's going to win the Oscars, it is time to predict how the stars are going to look on the red carpet. And just as important as the outfit they wear is, of course, their hair. But I bet you think there's no way you can get those same looks yourself at home, right? Wrong. Here to show us how is her own fabulous fashionista and founder of the LV Guide, Liliana Vasquez. Liliana, everybody's watching the red carpet. Yes. You say that the way that the actresses wear their hair that night can set the trends for 2016. So how influential are they? I think it's so influential. I think we as women kind of look to these women to see how they're doing their hair. And it's not just the year after. It's years and years after that we're still kind of mimicking those hairstyles. For example, Jennifer Aniston. I remember when she wore this gorgeous just kind of milk braid in the front of her hair. This was back in 2009. Think about how big braids are today. And right. this was years ago. And then also Taylor Swift. She had her first big moment at the American Music Awards. This is the first time she ever wore her hair straight and with those blunt the bangs. bangs yeah. Every girl I know went into their hairstylist and said, cut my hair like Taylor Swift. So their, their trends really do last a long Including time. I think Michelle Obama, she, she did the, the bangs for she a while. She did the so bangs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you joined forces with your stylist, Mika Rumo, from mm -hmm. Salon AKS to reveal three big trends that we'll, you think we're going to see on Sunday night. All right, yes. so we're going to start right over here with Jennifer Lawrence. Tell okay. us about her look. So when you saw Jennifer Lawrence, this is, of course, from the Golden Globes. She pulled her hair kind of side part and back. Usually she goes straight back. So I was surprised to see this. And I think for the Oscars, she's going to do something similar, but it's going to feel a little bit more modern. Okay, so let's reveal your hair prediction for the Oscars for Jennifer Lawrence. Take a look. Oh. Yeah. I can picture it, yeah. Right, you can see this. So what's different about this is it has a little bit more romance to it, and it obviously has a lot more volume. So it's still got that side part, which I think really flatters her face. But I think what's really nice about it is that it's got some lift, it's romantic, and it's got a lot of texture, which is important. And you've got to check out the back. This is a great style for girls that have chin length to shoulder length Oh, beautiful. Hair. You see how it's kind of swept? Yeah. So it's like a modern updo. It's not stiff hair. And you say there are products that we can use at home to achieve this look. So what are they? Absolutely. So these these are both products from Moroccan oil. This is the root boost. And if you notice, all of the lift is coming from the root. That's super important. So they have an amazing root lift that's going to give you that plumpness there. And then they also have a dry texture spray. And that is key with hair this season. You want to make sure that it has a little bit of hold, but you can still play with the hair and it has movement and it can have flexibility. You look gorgeous. You should keep this She's as stunning. your stunning. I know. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Okay, let's move on to my very favorite. I'm rooting for her so much, Brie Larson. Tell us about her look. Okay, so we love Brie Larson. And at the Golden Globes, of course, she had that beautiful Michael Kors. It was a gold dress. The hair was really simple. She just parted it and tucked it behind her ears. I'm hoping for a little bit more drama and something a little more fashion forward at the Oscars. Okay, so let's see your prediction for Brie at the Oscars. Oh, very pretty. Okay. Very nice. Been a massive trend in fashion. And what you're seeing is this kind of really um, almost like a severe center part, but then the hair is gathered in the back. And I want to see what you, I want to show you what we did here. So, oh, so it's pretty. not a slicked back ponytail. Again, it's got movement and texture. And what's really important at the Oscars for all of these women is that they look good from all angles. They're being photographed 360 degrees. So it's really important that the hair, especially with a pony, can be seen from the front, from the side, and of course, major drama from the back. Again, beautiful. A lot of people are, wanna, are going to want yes. this look. How do we achieve it at okay, home? Okay, so there's two ways. It's always about the prep for the hair. So these products are from AKS Salon. So this is their volumizing shampoo and conditioner. And what's really interesting about the shampoo is that it actually has coconut water in it. Oh. So what it does is it helps Hydrate. fill up. Yes, it hydrates the hair, it plumps it, so it gives you a lot of volume. And then serum is so important. This is the AKS serum. And what it does is you can use it to smooth away flyaways because you want this part to be super smooth and then you want this part to be super full. That contrast is so critical to execute this look. Beautiful, very elegant, gorgeous. Thank you. And final celebrity, Rachel McAdams. Yes. Okay. Up for Best Supporting Actress for yes. Spotlight. Let's see a look. And she never misses on the red carpet. What she did was she did shock us at the Golden Globes because she wore her hair pulled back. She usually wears it down. So I think for the Oscar, she's going to go back to how she usually does. It's her comfort zone with a slight twist. Okay, let's see your prediction for the Oscars for Rachel. Gorgeous. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, so again, that deep side part 
that you're seeing is a huge tray. So I think she's gonna part it to the side. It's gonna be voluminous on one side, but if you notice what I did here, Mika helped me kind of create this look. So we tucked it behind the ear because jewelry is such an important statement at the Oscars. So I think this will allow her to show off whatever $10 million earring she's gonna be wearing. And then make sure again that it has that deep part so that you get that lift at the crown here and it's got a little bit of height in the back. So it's a little bit of a take on a retro look, but super modern for 2016. And what are the products that will okay. help us achieve so it? So for this one, it's from Alterna. So we have a mousse. You think about mousse, you think about that 80s like crunchy mousse, so different. This is modern, it gives the hair softness, but still with volume. And if you have fine to thin hair, which a lot of women do, this is one of my favorite products. This is the volume mist. It's almost gonna double the weight of your hair so it feels really full and you can get this kind of beachy texture. I love this, this is this so is lovely. Stunning. And you said something interesting to me about um, celebrities that you experiment a lot at the Golden Globes, but for the Oscars, you go back to your comfort zone and yes. just that elegant kind of Hollywood look. Exactly. I think the whole world is watching. You go with what works for you, and these celebrities have amazing teams that say, you know what, this is what's worked in the past. Let's stick to the formula. And then they throw in a few twists, but for the most part, they keep it classic and very Hollywood. Okay, guys, you may be seeing the trends for 2016. Liliana, thank you so much. And to all of our beautiful models for being here.